All right, guys, we're back with Art today, and he wants to talk about his 1975 Pontiac Granville convertible, the last year for the Granville convertible, then it was no more. So what year did you get this one? It wasn't very old when you got it, I don't think. Yeah, I would say, I think 79 or 80. 79 or 80. How many miles has it got on it? I think it's got <laughs> 61,000. Got too many of them. Can't keep yeah. track of them. 66,000. 66,000 miles. And this was the only year, I think, that had the square headlights, which to me made it look, it really cleaned it up and made it look a lot more sleeker. Before that, it had round, bug-eyed looking headlights. And to me, this one hit a home run and then they just did away with it. There was no more. So let's get the camera and walk around it and talk about it a little bit. All right, Art, so what engine have we got underneath this hood? It's got the 455 high output. So it'll probably run pretty good down the road, yeah. huh? Yeah, it'll keep up with most of them. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a very well-optioned car, too, which I think most of them were. Yeah, the uh, Granville Brome. Yeah, the Granville Brome. Was that Brome on top of the Granville, I guess? Maybe. Well, I think it's probably the options. Yeah. So basically, I think that this was technically a Bonneville and the Granville and the Granville Brome were trim packages on top of the Bonneville. But either way, I think they hit a home run with this one. Yeah. And it was the last year of the big convertible wide track. Yeah. Cadillac ran one more year, correct? Yeah. Centennial. 76. Yeah. yeah. And what do we call these wheels? I would call them mag style. They're not really a, a rally wheel, are they? No, the only thing is the trim ring is the only thing that you put on. Otherwise, it's part of the wheel. Oh, yeah. That, so that trim ring is separate. And I guess the center cap. The yeah. cap, yeah. Yeah. They're pretty neat looking. They really, they really made the car. Yeah. And... The fender skirts look good on this car, too. <laughs> Again, another car that was made for them. So we're not going to take them off. <laughs> and this car was ordered special with the white seats, too, yes. wasn't it? Because yes. everybody knows that uh, white's definitely better in a convertible. Oh, yes. Very <laughs> much so. Yeah. Art's taken many people through parades in this, including the governor. What year was that? Jim Edgar, that was, uh, I don't know what, he was Secretary of State, and I had to... Okay, Secretary of State, yeah. I don't know what year. He was in there four years, and then he went to governor. Yeah. And I hauled his son, Brian, in it. And yeah. Yeah. And that's what's sad, is you go to convertibles nowadays, and you don't see anything like this. No. You just see Mustangs and Chrysler Sebrines and yeah. I guess they maybe a Camaro now. There's no, no back seat. Yeah, there's no <laughs> big convertibles anymore for any of the homecoming queens to ride in the parade. It's a big back seat. Oh yeah. Wide you know, wide seats too. Yeah. Plenty of room. And this is that what they call the scissor action convertible top, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I don't know when they went to that, but it, they should have kept, they should have stuck with the, the original hydraulics, I think. Yeah, well, I don't know it. The cable, as long as it works, is pretty it works nice. Pretty good. You don't have to worry about hydraulic fluid. That's true. But you did have trouble with it yeah. once. Yeah. Uh, back window, the sun baked the cable holder, and I had to get a different one put in it throws it out of time yeah if one slips in the other one yeah because it's one motor that's turning two gears, gears. on yeah. each side of the convertible top. yeah um we've got 
power windows, power door locks. What I like is power the, seat. The split seat. I see that what they call like a 60-40. Yeah. I didn't know they were doing that back then. I thought yeah. that was that came way that, later. That was that's ideal, so I can put it my height and yeah, and then two people can sit there yeah. in the other one. I never realized that because most all 70s cars just had an equally yeah. split bench seat. We got tilt wheel and cruise control. And tape, eight track. Eight track tape. AM, FM. Yep. And of course, factory air. I don't think they made very many of these, really. I mean, I, that's probably why they did away. The people had just stopped buying them, I, yeah. I reckon. And they went to, you know, a smaller car, too. Yeah. We've got, I just noticed this. We've got two switches here. I wonder if this has an anti-theft alarm on it. Do you know? Maybe I don't does. know about that. Look at the other side and see if, because normally, why would there be two dome light switches? A lot of times when you see that, it, it, it has an anti-theft alarm. I don't know about that. I like the white pinstripes, the way they've done them on the side here, following the body lines. Great rocker moldings from front to back. Cornering lamps up front. A nice piece of chrome running down the hood. Yeah, it's got two here. Does it? Yeah. All right, Pontiac guys, tell us what these, what this extra door jam switch is here. Is this for an anti-theft alarm option or something? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> I just noticed it. This one's got your wife's initials on it. Yeah. <laughs> 1975 Illinois plates. And you can tell that it's always been inside because these bumper fillers aren't completely rotted out like they were yeah. on all the GM cars. Yeah, they just, warp and everything you else. just fall to pieces and yeah. fall, just fall out on the ground. That's a, a sure sign right there. Yeah. The it's never been outside. Semi-truck driver that got it, he never had it out in bad weather. Right. And... Uh, he stored it inside. He only got it out on good weekends. Didn't he trade this for something? Yeah, he was wanting to buy a Corvette. And he had a Chevy truck all fixed up. 77 still didn't have enough trade-in to get a Corvette. So he traded in both of them? Yeah. And well, then somebody called you and said, hey, there's a convertible over at the dealership. Yeah, it was there? my car buddy. He went met me at the... Neymar Steakhouse, and he said, you needing another convertible? <laughs> and I went over there, and the, the dealer keep from paying tax, sales tax. He sold it right from the guy that had it owned. Oh, that's good. And he was going to so get no enough money man. to uh, both the 77 Chevy truck. And this. Yeah. To get a Corvette. Yeah. What a stupid move, really, on his part. Well, he... <laughs> <laughs> he told me many a time I had it in the parade. He said, I ought to have my ass kicked. Yeah, he definitely should. And then he bought a used, I think it was 74 Corvette, and had nothing but brake troubles with it. I wouldn't take two Corvettes for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I'd see him, Charlie Ordwick, he, he'd say, I ought to let you kick my ass for Yeah, man. Yeah, I would, I would, I would definitely say he would regret that move. You see these show up now and then, but not all in near this good a condition. Let's look at the hood or okay. under the hood. Okay. Check out the engine. It's yeah, all, I just really think those square headlights top this car off. It's all original under there yet. I don't know, and they find the, there it is. Everyone's got a little different. That hood's a mile long, too. Yeah. Good boy. It's pretty clean under there. 455. 
And here I think it says, I don't know where it says high up, but I don't see it here. I don't either. Somewhere I thought it's a high output H O. Well, it probably is. I don't know if that was an option or if that's just what come in them. I don't see. I'm it. sure somebody will tune in and tell us. Yeah, it's a high output at 455. But I don't see that writing here. I think I see something dumb like Ford did for 68. Well, no, let's see. It wasn't the fan, but look, the the blower motor is in behind the fender. So oh, I, I had to replace one in a yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Cadillac, I think. Get the 68 Ford Mercury. You got to pull the fender off or else pull all this inner <laughs> wheel well stuff out to change the heater core. That's where they put it. I, I finally got wiggled out in the underneath by the firewall on that Cadillac. I don't know on this. And... This looks like it's got a, a circle maybe to show you where to cut out for it. I don't know why they didn't just make an access panel. They do that on cars. And, and I've seen, I've got 68 Fords to part out and stuff or just use 68 Fords. And I see where they just cut one line and cut another line through it and bend it out to change the heater core. And then they bend it back and just leave it that way. If I was going to do that, I would cut it out and make a nice little access panel to well, screw I'd back on. I do that with a 73 Pontiac. Did you? <laughs> to change the spark plugs. And they had a special wrench there at the Pontiac dealer. You aren't supposed to be changing them spark plugs out. And I ended up uh, cutting the inner panel out. And then I used uh, clips. And it was the old belts that my grandpa used in the in the grinder you know to yeah pull that yeah. And that's what i put on there to keep that water from splashing into the manifold well, you gotta do what you gotta do but i said that'd be my first one that i didn't change plugs in mm -hmm. this car you know looking at everything it's clearly all the original paint doesn't look like it's ever had anything no. done to it nope Original AC compressor and all. It's a little bit low on Freon, but they messed me up with them new cans. Oh, yeah. But I want to show you that there's a deal you can, like a pliers you put around the can and it'll poke a hole in the bottom of the can. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll have to look at that before I leave today. All right, well, let's put this back on the tripod and let's let them see the windows go down and the top go down on this thing. I don't know where I've seen that, but I got instruction. Oh, the high output? Yeah. Well, have you got the window sticker for it? No. You don't? He never did give that to me. I bought it from him and he said he never could find it or didn't know where he put it. Well, it's a big fat engine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't imagine it's lacking any power. No, it handles the big boat. Yep. All righty, we'll get this thing set up. And we'll put the windows and top down for you guys. All right, here we go. We go. We're up to the windows down and the top down. I got a feeling all this glass and everything was the same as Cadillac and probably Caprice. I don't know that. I'll fold it up as you go down. Let's go over the other side. Got that. Hold on a second. I want to grab the camera. I want these guys to see. Oh, the scissor part? 
yeah, how this kind of what they call this scissor action top, how it how it's going there. That's really odd compared to what it was all those years. Oh, and yeah. then do we put this in, I guess, yeah. like this? Yeah. <laughs> Has a whole different sound to it, too. Yeah. Than the hydraulic ones. I think the center drive is in the in the center of the back of the seat. Yeah, see we there's a there's a motor in the center and there's a cable that comes from each side of it that yeah, goes okay. in here to these gearboxes. I guess that's what they're yeah. considered, a gearbox. Yeah. That that runs both sides and if you get them out of time, you've got a problem. Here's that's the, really something. Cable too. Here's a cable going right in here. Yeah, but I meant for the top. I had to, Oh, the tension cables? Yeah, for the top. I had to modify that and get it to work without replacing, you know, getting the new top. Huh. Where's the boot at? We ought to, I guess, show it's them what it looks like all trunk. sleeked out with the boot on it. That's, we, I like the, it's got a, we can turn it off, can't we? Yeah, glove box. That. Oh, you want to pop the trunk? Yeah. I don't think we told it. Oh. I got seats, umbrella. Flags. Flags for the parade. Yeah. Boy, that's clean in there, though, isn't it? Yeah. That boot looks brand new. Yeah, it's kind of shrunk, too, getting it on, on there. I don't know if you, you ever had the, these got these little clips you have to... That slide under the chrome? Yeah. Yeah, that's what mom and dad's convertible's got. Is it? That I'm trying to get done. Get this back over here. I hope you guys aren't bored with this. You can always fast forward through it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. Well, it blends in with the rest of the black with those. Yeah, the side panels. Seats. Yeah. Are all black. You gotta clip the put the clips in, I think, first. It's before I snap it? Yeah. Well, I didn't either. I don't know, I never did care for the plastic clips on there. I think they look a lot cleaner than the Yeah, buttons. The buttons. Then we got Velcro here it looks like there should be another snap here but it's there's not one have you got a yeah it, i think there's a clip that didn't get in but now like you know, on our 68 Fords and Mercury's, this has a little plastic trough that you you snap in. Oh. Now there's no, no, no parade to go to. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Makes it look a lot cleaner and sleeker with the boot on it. Yeah.
There, what do you guys think of that? All ready for a parade, but there's no queens. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where's your wife? Uh, Let's make her sit on the she back. Won't get in there. <laughs> Quilton. Has this car got a single exhaust or a dual exhaust on it? Single exhaust. Single. There we go. There it is. Put the top down and the boot snapped. It makes it look even longer and sleeker. You want to take this one for a drive? You want to see me going down and then come back? or? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. We're going to talk about this 31 Model A, too. There it is in motion for you guys. Is that beeping telling you need to fasten your seatbelt? Yes. <laughs> I never did. I always was going to, but I never did. Like Uh-oh, now I sit in the seat that knows I'm not buckled. That might be that switch. You got to... I don't know. We need, I'm going to look at You got an owner's manual? It does. Yeah. I'm going to look and see if it says anything about the anti You want to put your seatbelt on? I am. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to put my <laughs> seatbelt on. Sit in it. Is yeah. Cool. Yeah, as soon as I sit on this seat, there's a switch in here, just like in the newer cars yeah. for airbags and stuff. It knew as soon as I sat down that I didn't have my seatbelt buckled. Want to go down the highway or what? Yeah, we might as well. It's what was supposed nice. to be like about 80 today. It's a nice day for a I convertible think ride. 77 is supposed. Yeah, it's a, one of the nicest days we've had yesterday yeah. and today. Maybe 79 high. This is one, you know, everybody knows I'm a Ford Mercury Lincoln guy, but I've always wanted one of these. I like these over the Caprice and the Cadillac and the Buick and all that. This was my favorite one. I've always wanted one of these, and I've always wanted a 86 Olds Cutlass 442. There, you can hear that four barrel. Once they kick them in, it has to be, the engine has to be pretty warm. Yeah. We're probably not going to hit 130 in this one, <laughs> like we did the Jag. What a smooth ride, though. Isn't it? Yeah, probably need the air to the tires. This takes some of the wind off of you. Yeah. Granville Brome. We got us a, a waste basket down here. Uh, Chrysler had just a plastic type. Yep. Nice thick piece of chrome running down the center of the hood. Yeah, they got rid of a lot of that after this year. Oh yeah, a lot of decontenting. You didn't get near as much chrome and trim after that.
running about 60 down the road, just smooth as can be. Might have to push the Jeep a little bit. Yeah, he ain't in a hurry. <laughs> Pretty comfortable seats, too. Yeah, they're really soft. And they're like new. It says radial tuned suspension. I'd say this car's about got every option on it you could get. Yeah. You've got a pretty nice collection of all the big three automobiles, really. Yeah. Ford, GM, and Chrysler. Those Chryslers have really gotten a lot of attention. Yeah. I was really surprised. Fast. Yeah, you can't hear anything. <laughs> is that guy that bought this car new, is he still alive? Yeah, I think. He's from St. Peter. We went to Florida two times with this. Texas to a wedding. You've been to Florida twice and Texas in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'd be certainly a nice car to have down in Florida in the winter. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be down there in the summer. No. <laughs> Especially right now. They, they say, people I know in Florida say, you do, do like you do up north in the wintertime, you stay in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear us. It's awful windy in here. Yeah, it is. Going, I was going 70. These microphones pick up pretty good. We'll just have to see. Well, you may just have to leave the top down and take your wife out for supper tonight in it, <laughs> since it's out. Probably mess her hair up, though. <laughs> she don't like that. No. Uh, she's got ta contacts, too, and there's anything flying around. Uh, oh, really? I think this one has disc brakes in the front, and I think the Chrysler's the same way. Oh yeah, I'm sure they've got disc brakes on the front. Well, we can roll the windows back down. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure that the glass, the side glass is all the same as far as all these Cadillacs, Pontiacs, Oldsmobiles, the Caprice, the convertibles, they all 
basically had the same windshield and side glass, didn't they? I had uh, a lot of people mistake this for a Cadillac. Oh, I bet. The yeah. side fenders and that all looks the same on a Cadillac Eldorado. Mm -hmm. I don't know, though. I think I still like this one better than all of them. <laughs> yeah. the, the Pontiac, to me, was the was the home run. If I had my choice out of all of them, maybe the one I would pick. Now they don't even make them anymore. We are going to pause it, and I'm going to look in this owner's manual okay. and see what it, if it says anything about an anti-theft alarm, see if maybe that's what one of these extra switches is for. I don't know what. Well, guys, we studied the owner's manual, and we don't see anything about an optional anti-theft alarm. So if any of you Pontiac or what are these? I think they consider this a B-body. B-body. GM. GM's B-body. If you guys can tell us what this extra switch is in the door jam, one's black, one's silver, and you, you both sure one's doors the, has got Yeah, it. Both, both sides has it. So... You know, one be for the dome light. If no, somebody can tell us what that other one's for, we're just curious. So plastic tip on it. Yep. So other one's metal. So there's our seventy-five Pontiac Grandville Brome. With what we say, sixty-one or sixty-six thousand miles. Sixty-six. Sixty-six thousand original miles. Original top. Original paint. <laughs> That he's had since around 79 or 80. So there's another one of Art's cars for you. And we're going to talk about his 31 Model A over there next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you watching very much. Thank you.